Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazoo and today will be the top 16 matchup between L Loves and Sendara Bomb. Paladin vs a Necrobat and you'll be seeing some good padding action right here and right now. So right now we see Sendara Bomb doing a very good job in catching L Loves even though it's an Acrobat. Circle shot flinches Sendara Bomb and there's a Cyclone Kick but he counters it with, a, with an Armor Break. And a nice Eagle Dive from Eldos followed by a Spy Vortex. But the Electric Smite fails to connect, but a nice Shin Breaker from Sendara Bomb catches Eldos. But Eldos seems to be on a roll right here, continuing to combo Sendara Bomb. But Sendara Bomb is not backing out, he's still being aggressive with, with whatever he has and attempt, attempting to go strong on Eldos so that, so that you know, those area evasion cooldowns do not come off and he has a high chance. Nice Shin Breaker once again to dodge the circle shot followed by catching his opponent right there. Like kick smite, didn't catch L loves there and the cyclone kick once again, countered with armor break. L loves seems to be looking right quite low right now, 50% but the booming kick catches Sandar bomb, Sandar bomb nicely followed by the armor break from him and once again armor break seems to be doing a lot of cancelling and countering against L loves on his acrobat. So the first round goes to Sandar bomb. So we're on to the second round right here. And Sendara Bomb uses all the buffs he has that there's allowed in this tournament, which is actually most of it except for SOF, Block, and Heal for Paladins. Nice shield charge catch. Oh, that was a nice holy boat. And now that love seems to be in trouble. Shin Breaker didn't catch for the Electric Smite. Oh man, that was like 5k damage in the face. Eldos with a counter attack but got hit by Lightning Zap. Oh, this is bad. Lightning Zap and no relief for Acrobats. I think this round is over for Eldos. Eldos already down to about 10%. Eagle Dive once again countered with Shin Breaker. It's as though Sandara Bomb is just waiting for the Eagle Dive to come and he counters it with Shin Breaker. And if the Cyclone Kick comes, he counters it with Armor Break. So Sandara Bomb definitely very well versed with fighting Acrobats. So we're on to the third round right here and send Dara Bomb looking, uh, looking to be a very strong Paladin and definitely proud to be top 16 right here. So he's closing in with Armor Break dodged by Eldos with a Circle Shot and I think it, flinched, it managed to flinch him but you know there was some lag there. Holy Bow, oh this time didn't catch and the Holy Relic that was a close one but nice dodging by Eldos there. I think he's waiting for the Eagle Dive to come but right now Eldos is using Multi Shot and Twin Shot to wither his opponent down. Lightning Zap nicely dodged by Eldos followed by Electric Smite. Shin Breaker catches Eldos again and nice armor break once again. Spiral Vortex countered by Shield Charge. Holy Bolt. Oh, this one didn't get Eldos. But now Eldos in trouble as Sandara Bomb is comboing him against the wall. Nice comboing skills from Sandara Bomb there. Oh, but he couldn't continue it. And the Eagle Dive catches Sandara Bomb but Circle Shot once again catches Sandara Bomb. Bound Binding Shot couldn't continue. And now you see the reflection buff on Sendara Bomb, but it is not patched to the you know the FTG patch yet, so it's not a hundred percent reflection yet. This is the old version. Electric Smite, oh, caught L loves there. So basically, I think Paladin against Acrobat. If Lightning Zap and Electric Smite hits the Acrobat, definitely it's gonna it's gonna be siding the the Paladin after that. So I think Sendara Bomb just need to work on getting his Electric Smite. And I need Zap to hit L loves and he should be fine. So right now the circle shot. This time he waited for Sendara Bomb to do the attack first. That's why his circle shot can counter it. Nice ego dive, followed by a spiral kick and a spiral vortex. Huge damage there. Sendara Bomb is already down 50%. Flow a binding shot. Oh, but the combo couldn't be continued from L loves. Circle shot, oh that's it. See you guys, electric smite and uh lightning zap and now He's in a bowl of hurt. It's followed by a nice holy ball from his opponent. Now they are both pretty equal with with actually Eldos looking to be at a lower percentage, I think 40% against 44%. Shinbreaker countered with circle shot. Followed by a twin shot there to widow his opponent down. Who's gonna win this round? But Iron Will comes out from Sendara Bomb. Holy Relic attempt to bait the dodge but couldn't. 
Nice binding shot there, but oh, Shinbreaker countered with. Oh man, this is getting too exciting. Spiral, sh spiral kick followed by spiral attacks, but the lightning zap catches. Oh no, but this round goes to send our bomb and a nice round from L loves there, definitely. I think you found a way to, you know, do massive damage and just rinse and repeat. So basically you just need to, you know, do a spiral kick in and then a spiral vortex and then maybe you just need to rinse and repeat that while wasting all the cooldowns like, you know, shield charge, armor break and shinbreaker from send bomb before he actually does that. If not, he'll just be countered. Uh, dodge wasted by Sandar Bomb there with the Holy Relic but the Holy Bot couldn't connect and a nice booming kick followed by a Spiral Vortex as you can see it's huge damage R already about one third of his HP gone and the Lightning Zed countered with multi shot Elder seems to be catching up back he's doing a nice comeback here I think he's putting up a good fight right now I think he got he got the the rhythm of how Sandar Bomb was actually fighting but the Shin Breaker nicely catching Elder's there Holy Bolt, no it was dodge and a nice booming kick to enter followed by a somersault kick and a spiral vortex Look he's down to 20% HP and an acrobat just need to rinse and repeat that little move there and oh the second kick some aerial blocks and auto blocks to save Sandar Bomb look Sandar Bomb is already down to 50% and a random holy relic to the wall there below the bridge no idea what's that for followed by Holy Bolt then this round is going to L Loves yes nicely done by L Loves there and it's 3 to 2 I think Elder is trying to attempt to put up a comeback and it's nicely done right here so right now we are into the 6th round and you never know what happens Sh now that was Shinbreaker countered by Spirit Shot Binding Shot dodged away by Sandar Bomb there Circle Shot catching the opponent nicely done Holy Bolt! oh Elder was, was looking as though he was running towards it Shinbreaker catches Sandar Bomb Eagle Dive, nope Look there, look at that That was a Spiral Kick followed by a Spiral Vortex And once, once again Sandar Bomb down to a very one called the HP left But look, the running Zap catches L Loves He's gonna be in trouble now because he's gonna have a trouble running away Because he'll be Zap every 5 seconds I think or every 3 And right now Sandar Bomb is cutting, casting his little buffs up there and Circle Shot flinches him, the Lightning Zap buff is already gone, he didn't manage to press his advantage, shield charge! Dodge by L Loves there. Oh wait, now Iron Wave is up, sorry. So, you can see that the damage is definitely very reduced, and Sandar Bomb don't mind getting a few hits. That was only 100 damage death on multi shot. Oh, the Holy Relic 3.8k, Shinbreaker! Oh, this is bad, that was a unlucky Holy Relic, I think, for L Loves. He didn't expect it to be coming, but a nice booming kick followed by Spiral Vortex. Oh, that is beautiful. And the Shinbreaker catches Elders, followed by Armor Break, it's gonna be close, both of them are down to about 10% HP, Sandar Bomb is moving out, but he got caught by the Binding Shot! What's gonna happen? 22%, Holy Bolt! And... I don't know what's gonna happen, Armor Break catches Elders, I think Sandar Bomb is down to 2% HP, maybe less, maybe 1%, yes he has 2% HP, a Shield Charge in, and Electric Smite! Oh my god, I think I saw a crit, that was a 4k! Electric Smite by, and another 1k hit and there goes L Loves who at 20% HP Oh my goodness L Loves are you watching this? I think you'll be feeling damn bloody sad if you saw it It was just one twin shot away And now the second shot hits Sandar Bomb And followed by a twin shot And the Holy Relic randomly But the Holy Boat I think no Both of them were casting random skills right there and The counter circle shot was missed Spiral Vortex used preemptively, I think that was a misclick and Electric Smite once again, huge damage on Electric Smite right there and look, L Loves is already down to 50% HP and he's getting Lightning Zap damage as well so I think he's going to drop to 30% Sandar Bomb the Holy Bowl dodges by... nicely dodged by L Loves even with the Holy Relic coming after baiting the tumble now the Reflect buff is up you can see a few hundred damage of light damage on L Loves every time when he attacks Shield Charge in Second kick, Eagle Dive, catches Sandar Bomb, I think he's getting, I think he got disconnected, yes he got disconnected, look. And this round will go to L Loves, okay, so basically what happened during the tournament is, so we waited for Sandar Bomb to come back and then they'll play a round of 3, so because we'll consider L Loves to win this round, so the score will be 4-3, so if Sandar Bomb wins 1 round in this matchup, he'll win. And if L Loves wins 2-0, he will win. So you, in the end, the final score was still tally. And this will be a final round for Sandar Bomb or pro probably another round 
for Elves if he managed to win this one. So nice circle shot, followed by Booming Kick. That was beautiful. Somersault Kick, but area evaded by Sendar Bomb and a Shield Charge. No, he didn't connect the Shield Charge. And he dodged away from the Eagle Dive. Holy Bolt. No, he didn't connect. It looks as though it was going to hit. And the Holy Relic dodged by Elves right there. Lightning Zap dodged by Elves once again. Now he, has, he stands a greater chance. Electric Smite didn't hit as well. Our love's looking con confident here And a twin shot She will charge in, he got caught Booming kick didn't connect, followed by Shinbreaker Counter circle shot is used I think most of his area evasions are out Except for his only area evade And Holy Relic used as well from Sendara Bomb So the reflection buff is up Followed by Iron Wheel, I think it's gonna press in close Shinbreaker countered by circle shot Booming kick didn't connect this time Armor break The spirit shot flinches, Sendara Bomb followed by multi shot But look, the, the amount of damage done to him is low because of Iron Wheel and he shield charges in Shinbreaker catches Elders The electric spinning connect Oh that was unlucky for Sandara Bomb This is going to be a very dragged out battle between Elders As you can see both of them are playing passively They know this could be the final round Especially for Sandara Bomb So he used the Shinbreaker to go in Followed by armor break He's trying to widow his opponent down Elders not doing that as well with his twin shot and binding shot Eagle Dive countered with Shinbreaker and Armor Break didn't connect from Sendar Bomb. Holy Bolt coming up once again and the Reflection Buff is up. Followed by the Circle Shot, Electric Smite, no Sendar Bomb, where's the beautiful Electric Smite earlier on? And the Cyclone Kick used halfway but dodged nicely by Elves because he doesn't want to get hit by Lightning Zap. But look, Elves is down to only 16% mana. Sendar Bomb, similar as well, he has only about 20%. Shield Charges in, countered by Circle Shot. And I think this is going to be a drawn out normal attack battle at the end. I do not know, guys. Shinbreaker, dodge, spiral attacks, huge damage. But it's not going to be enough. He's down to 1% mana. He has no mana left. Electric Smite catches him. And now comboing from Sandar Bomb. I think Sandar Bomb has no mana as well. It's going to be a normal attack battle, guys. <laughs> Let's see who wins this drawn out normal attack battle. Lightning Zap hits! Oh, not good. Our love's not good. He's gonna get caught every time he gets zapped and he's getting damaged. Oh no! I think it's gonna be over for Our Loves. He's, he's done a good fight. It's gonna be over for him, I think. As you see, Sendara Bomb closing in. He has only normal attack, but the normal attack's not connecting. He's not whittling down his opponent. Yes, one hit, two hit. Oh, shield charge! And this round goes to Sendara Bomb. He has won and moved on to top 8. Watch out for his next video against Owe. E35. Thanks for watching. Storm the like button if you haven't and subscribe. God bless once again and I'll see you guys next time.